Welcome to the Franklin Control Systems VFD Startup Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to set up our P-Series Variable Frequency Drive for Submersible Pump. We'll start with basic wiring. If your VFD panel has a circuit breaker, wire into the three terminals clearly labeled L1, L2, and L3 on the top of the breaker. If your panel is designed for single phase power, just wire into L1 and L2. If there's no disconnect, wire into terminals A1, B1, and C1, clearly labeled on top of the input line reactor. The line reactor is usually located directly below the VFD. If you have an output filter, wire your motor leads into terminals A2, B2, and C2 on top of the filter. If you don't have an output filter, wire your motor leads directly into terminals U, V, and W on the bottom side of the VFD. Wire the power and motor ground wires to a panel ground lug or stud clearly labeled with the ground symbol. Wire the 4 to 20 milliamp pressure transducer to the VFD with the red wire going to the VFD V plus terminal, the white wire to I, and shield to 5G for 7.5 to 40 horsepower VFDs or CM for 50 to 700 horsepower VFDs. Check your power wiring and line voltage. If everything is correct, power up the VFD. After a few seconds, your VFD will display the main screen with parameter DRV00. In order to check your pump rotation, open full demand and press the forward key to run your pump at 60 Hz. Check the flow, and if it is not sufficient for full speed run, power the VFD off, wait about 10 minutes, and swap any two motor leads. Then, power up your VFD and press the forward key to run your pump at 60 Hz. If the rotation is correct, press the stop key to stop your pump. Now it's time to program your VFD. The new FastApp firmware featured on the Franklin Control Systems P-Series VFD makes starting your pump a snap. It gives you the ability to choose between submersible, centrifugal, and other basic pumping applications. After selecting your application, FastApp automatically optimizes critical drive parameters based on industry standards. We're going to go through the general drive setup for a submersible pump. Parameters not covered are preset and usually don't need changing. First, press the shift key once to set 00, zero app select and verify sub pump is displayed. If not, press the enter button. Use the up and down arrows to scroll to the sub pump and press enter to select this application. Now that you've selected submersible pump as your application, the following parameters will be preset and simply need to be verified. Hit the up arrow to set 0, 1. The default input phase is set to 3 for 3 phase AC power distribution systems. Select 1 if you have a single to 3 phase conversion application. For proper VFD sizing for single to 3 phase conversion, consult Franklin Control Systems. Set 0, 2. Motor horsepower should be set to the motor nameplate horsepower. Verify that it matches the horsepower rating on the motor nameplate. If it does not match, press the inner key so the flashing cursor appears. Then use the up or down arrow key to adjust the value. Press enter to save this change. Set 03. Motor FLA is defaulted to a UL table value based on the horsepower and voltage indicated by your part number. Verify that this matches the full load amps. If it does not match, press the enter key so the flashing cursor appears and use the shift key to move the cursor to a specific digit. Then, use the up or down arrow key to adjust that digit as desired. Press enter to save this change. Set 04. The motor synchronous RPM default 
is 3600 for submersible applications. Change this selection if your motor RPM is 1800 or 1200. Set 11. Next, navigate to set 11 motor acceleration time. The default is 2 seconds. This is the time it takes for the VFD to accelerate from 0 to 60 Hz, or 1 second to 30 Hz, which is required for a Franklin submersible motor. Set 16. Set 16 is stop mode. The default setting is coast, and it can be changed to decel or deceleration. Set 25. Navigate to set 25 FB unit max. The default is 100 PSI. This value should match the maximum range of your pressure transducer. For example, if you have a 0 to 250 PSI transducer, program a value of 250 PSI. Next step is to set some pump control parameters. Navigate to set 26. Set 26 is PID or system pressure set point. Change the value to the desired pressure set point for the VFD to maintain. Set 27. Setting the PID low limit frequency is an important step in ensuring that sleep mode works properly. First, run the VFD with some demand and check if it maintains pressure at a set point. Then, Decrease demand to zero or no demand. You can usually accomplish this by closing a valve to your system. At this point, wait until the drive settles at a certain frequency. Note this value and stop your VFD. Then, set the PID low limit frequency to one hertz higher than your noted value. For example, if the drive settles at 40 hertz, set this value to 41 hertz which should be enough to slowly increase pressure above set point. Set 32. Navigate to set 32, sleep frequency. Adjust this value to half to one hertz above PID low limit. For example, if you set the PID low limit frequency to 41 hertz, set the sleep frequency to 42 hertz. This ensures the sleep mode conditions will be met at no demand allowing the VFD to go to sleep. Decrease this value to prevent short cycling if the VFD goes to sleep at low demand. Set 33. The sleep mode delay time default is 20 seconds. If the system pressure is above pressure set point and the drive runs for 20 seconds below sleep frequency, your drive will go to sleep. This is the third parameter along with pressure and frequency that must be satisfied in order for sleep mode to activate. Set 34. Sleep mode boost value is the amount of PSI above set point the VFD will boost at speed set in parameter FG211 before going to sleep. This ensures the system is fully pressurized and will not short cycle because of very low demand or small leaks. The default setting is 3 PSI, and if it is set to zero, this feature will be disabled. Set 35. Sleep mode wake up level is the amount of PSI below system pressure set point at which your VFD will wake up. This value is a percentage of set 25 FB unit max or max PSI range. For example, if a system with 50 PSI set point and a 100 PSI transducer, 8% equals 8 PSI, and wake-up level will be 42 PSI. Set 78, underload setting or drywall protection. Adjust to 65 to 70% of motor FLA value in parameter set 03. That's it. Your P-series drive is set up and your pump is ready for use. If you have any questions, please call us at 800-962-3787. Thanks for watching.